know, one of the things that we're, we're noticing is that during this COVID shutdown, nine out of 10 people are trying different things. I mean, whether it's a Zoom or whether it's buying something from a, uh, an online clothing store that they never bought from because COVID didn't let them go to the mall, nine out of 10 people have tried something new. So what, what that means is brand loyalty is at an all time, you know, it's being challenged. You know, whereas you might be loyal to Nike, you might try this other brand because it's in your face on digital so, you know, dominantly. And so as a brand, you have an opportunity right now to lose everything. Or if you're an entrepreneur or a startup, you have the opportunity to gain everything. It's kind of like I started with, you can't microwave experience, but in this sense, a brand can microwave time to get that loyalty or that at least that trial faster than ever in this very moment. So as an event organizer who once and relied on and enjoyed big, big attendance, if you, if you hibernate with this idea that brand loyalty is, is, is under pressure, you may, your event may never come back. And, and conversely, if you are starting an event and you believe in what you're doing and you know how to do certain things, you can bring an event from nothing and take market share in your event. So activity is critically important and, and having an event organizer, you know, weigh the balance between, turn, you know, pulling it off and broadcasting to the world. It could be the difference between saving an organization in the next 12 to 18 months because we're bullish on events. Meetings, events will continue, but who's going to be left standing when they continue? And that's the question that each event organizer and, you know, quite frankly, brands need to ask themselves.